Well, it's been a pretty uneventful day. So we make our say, make our way to Majorca. The uh, there are no winds. <laughs> I think there was one knot of wind, so we decided to go make some landfall over here and uh, maybe spend the day, spend the night, hang out, do some swimming. Both of us really want to get some swimming in. And uh, the water might be cold, but I'm pretty sure we're still going in. Since the weather and the sea state are so calm and the water looks amazingly clear, we're doing some chores and uh, we're making water, which is fantastic love that and uh, I believe Katie is doing some laundry down here let's see if we can catch the elusive Katie doing some laundry pole dancing <laughs> oh you got a moth friend Don't see that every day. <laughs> Life on a boat. Finding food. Our supplies are low. What will we do without tomatoes? What will we do without tomatoes? to go run a uh, couple errands and the easiest way was to uh, have Katie drop me off on the shoreline that is uh, razor edged rocks and um, well, on my way back when Katie uh, after I called Katie to come pick me up and I turned back around to go position myself on my you know, perfect rock uh, Something got hung up and uh, I went falling on all the sharp, jagged rock. Got a couple of good ones. So for once you're bleeding from everywhere else but not your head. Yeah, I can't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you get that hand too? Your knuckle? Yeah. Or is that from cleaning something else? No. That's from that, you know, it's one of those things like, how did I get all of them on different sides of every, you know, on different sides of my hands, yeah. yeah. The one that worried me was actually this one. And it just, it just hit the bone mm. so perfect that it, yeah. it kind of, it almost kind of hit like the funny bone of your knee or something and just Charlie horsed it instantly and, and yeah. Yeah, just put some paper towels, duct tape and finish that beer, you'll be fine. Painkiller. So I asked Katie to throw a band-aid on one of my wounds. She was like, sure. Would you like me to do it right now? As she's sitting there peeling an orange. <laughs> Alright. Your doctor's visit, you got your band-aids on. You got my band-aids? Yep. I'm an American doctor, so that'll be $8,000 per band-aid. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. We'll put you on a payment plan for the rest of your life, and your children can pay off your debt eventually. Hey, that'd be great. <laughs> I would love to pass it on to them. Um, <laughs> So the day after my fall and uh, my wrist is, is pretty swollen, I think I sprained it pretty good. So we're gonna, we're gonna baby that guy for another few days and uh, it should be fine, but it's pretty swollen, a little limiting. What 
you painting today? Well, I've been working on a series to accent certain parts of the human body. Um, after tattooing for so many years, I became an appreciator of the human body and kind of understood things on a little bit different level when you're designing pieces of artwork for those bodies. So you, you tend to find those curves and those kind of obtuse angles. And, and so I started a, a series dedicating kind of the highlight um, to parts of the anatomy with a light bulb and this is the last one I started working on uh, before we left land and I've been a bit hesitant to get back on it it's kind of a larger project so but like any oil paints you know if you mess it up a little bit you just keep reworking and achieve what you are looking to achieve I guess. So painting today wasn't extremely successful for me. Uh, I worked on this area and all of it is the wrong tone. Uh, it should be much more muted and stuff like that. Not that you can tell because you don't know what I'm after. Which kind of brings a good point with painting. You can have a lot of people tell you that, oh yeah, it looks amazing, it looks great. But if it's not what you wanted, if it's not what you're after, then it's not right. It doesn't matter what anybody else is saying. Have your own opinion in your art. Deep within the cave of the art room, we find the artist hunched over, cross-legged, mixing paints. The artist. The artist. What are we doing here this morning? What are we doing here this morning? At whatever time o'clock? After French toast o'clock? The other day I painted and knew all my, all my values and my colors were wrong. And it was because I was trying to mix my colors outside where there's so many glares glares on the paint, glares on my reference material, glares on everything. And so I came down here yesterday, kind of late morning, and looked at some paints and saw that there was a much more even dispersed light for me to actually mix my colors. So I'm gonna mix a bunch of colors and probably completely repaint almost everything that I did the last two sessions. Yeah. <laughs> Painting is so relaxing. So relaxing. <laughs> the redo of work that you did. And hopefully by the end of the day, I'm uh, much happier with the uh, outcome and uh, like the direction. Yeah. Three, four weeks. Brian was getting up from his painting to take a little stretch. I was asking him how he liked my drawing and kind of getting a couple little tips on it and whatnot. And as he makes his way to the fridge, I asked, Is it too early to start drinking? As we ate breakfast a couple hours ago. <laughs> It is an art day, and he explained that he was getting up to grab himself a beer. So, that answers that question. It is... It's brunch. It's, it's brunch. It's yeah, it's food. it's Sunday. So, I mean, once you start eating breakfast, you can start drinking. Isn't that the rule to Sundays? Yeah. We've already had breakfast, so... So we're behind. You know, we are behind. 
cheers. Cheers. To brunch painting day. To brunch painting day. How miserable it will be. Ah, yes. So <laughs> relaxing and frustrating. And it's currently October. I'm wearing my um, fancy October attire. Closest thing I have. Uh, orange and black. Yeah, I'm feeling festive, so I'm working on a little uh, Halloween drawing. Ryan's tackling his light series with the light bulb. Cheers! <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> We get to film an unboxing video today because Brian's taking off his band-aids. Let's see what's below. Probably have to rip that hair off. Yeah, when I rip the hair off, I'm trying to make sure that I'm not going to rip this, the band-aid off too, or the healing underneath. Ready? This is always the funniest part. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> So what, what you got? What you got? You got some hair on that? Yeah, I got some tattoo pigment. Do you really? Yeah. Some greens, blues. Ah, that's fun. Yeah. Cool. Got some hair in there. Hair in there. That looks cool. good though. Yeah, it looks good. Now the unveiling. Ooh. The unveiling. The nice, uh, nice toe color, by the way. Thanks. <laughs> How? There's toe hair. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Ah, okay, there we go. Fucking zombie toe. A couple scrapes down there. Yeah, I didn't see those before. Yeah, I felt them. <laughs> oh. Looks good. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Let's see. Uh... Are you just going to raw let's... dog it for a bit? And yeah, see? Let's, let's see how long it takes before I smash that toe mm. into something and blow it back open. Oh. After a good few days here on Majorca, we'll be leaving tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon I guess. So tonight we're just gonna hang out and watch a movie and enjoy the sunset. I think tonight's movie selection is Alien, Resurrection. She'll breed. You'll die. Yeah, we're both looking forward to moving on tomorrow. It's about 7 a.m. I'm gonna go wake up Katie and uh, we're gonna get out of Majorca and get moving on our sail, which is maybe five days, something like that. Why leave Majorca? Because there's more adventures to have. Mallorca, we're sailing downwind, which has not been one of our strong suits by any means. But today we get kind of the easy hand at it. The current is coming along with us, and the wind is pretty much just sitting dead behind us. So we are wing on wing, making our way. So with wing on wing, we're actually doing we're actually doing pretty good. We're uh, consistent, and the boat has power with the lulls in the wind. So it's pretty nice. And a jet. More people are leaving New York.
we have another bird visitor today as we cross to uh, cross towards Ibiza. That was a nice little treat. Yeah. Do you think she's gonna hang out for five days? I don't, I don't think she's gonna hang all the way to Gibraltar. Mm -hmm. we'll drop her off at Ibiza. Yeah. <laughs> She'll hitch a ride to UB's uh, jump off there and go meet the rest of her buddies. I'm excited! I got a break! <laughs> oh. Little buddy. Come back! <laughs> 